I'm Timothy Luce, and I'm building a castle. Today I wanted to talk with you about our octagon, our tower, um, in the first phase of the project and how that's coming together. You um, can see uh, some clips here about how we uh, created the individual panels. My good friend Steve and I um, just did all the, the math using an online calculator to figure out. We had the center point of the turret established when, when we dug the footers, and so we measured off of that um, to get all of our... Um, all of our faces on the outside and then the same thing on the inside for the octagon. So I wanted to show you how that comes together. What you doing there, Steve-O? Okay, we want to set up our angles to make sure our corners meet up and make the uh, 45 degrees that we need for our octagon for our turret. So I'm going to lay out the corner. What we're doing is setting up this form um, with these, uh, I'll call them strong backs on it. This is probably the handiest tool that I've bought. Uh, I bought it as a kit, but it's an impact driver. And going into this red oak, we would be having to either pre drill or use a heavier drill to do it because the red oak is really tough, but this impact driver, it's, it's like butter. Um, we built them using uh, 3 quarter inch OSB and uh, 1 inch by roughly 6 inch red oak uh, and white oak. Um, so let's, let's go have a look at how it's coming together. All right, what you can see here is the overall shape of the, of the turret, the, the tower. It is 16 feet in diameter from outside to outside. Um, and I just wanted to show you how it actually comes together. Um, these panels that Steve and I built, we have now, um, uh, I've actually went in and put them together. Uh, they get two screws, um, one through uh, this direction, if you can see that there, and then one through this way, uh, at the top, middle, and, and bottom. Um, then inside the cavity here, they're going to be 8-inch walls, um, for the first 24 inches, the rebar is 6 inches on center. Number 5 rebar, um, 6 inches on center, is real fun to work with, let me tell you. Alright, so here's our rebar jig that we made, which puts our rebar at 6 inch centers horizontally and vertically. And we basically just put the rebar in the routed grooves that we made. and then tie it up. And we made the jig for two reasons. One, so that we're not having to bend over to do it all the time. And two, uh, it just helps with quality control to make sure we get all the uh, intersects consistent. What are you guys doing? We're building a house. We need to do this so we can build a house. What is that? Rebar. We're putting it up. What color is your rebar? This one, Gita. Mine is. Mine is. Mine is wet. I mean, mine is green. Good job. And what color is your rebar? Pink. So that's why we're building a house. What kind of a house? A castle. A castle. Cool. Where's your bedroom going to be? Um, over there where that circle is. What, what are we going to build at the circle? A tower. Cool. No, 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 those are pink ones. We do the green ones. So what we did was we cut the rebar into sections just like the form walls and then we tied intersects using um, rebar bent at a 45 degree angle. Uh, 
Um, when we cut the forms, they ended up, we had to cut them at 22 and a half because it's one side makes half of the angle. Um, <clears throat> so that's a quick overview how it came together. Um, we've plumbed them. We have um, measured the center line on the walls. And the interesting thing about this was um, I measured, remeasured, and measured again um, the actual layout when we first started working on this. And when we started on this side over here and worked ourselves around, we were within an eighth of an inch um, of our mark on this other side, which was ridiculous. I mean, I would have been happy with two or three inches given the size of this room. Um, and, the, uh, and then we would have just fudged it a little bit to make up the difference. But we were within an eighth of an inch, which is awesome. Uh, I was real happy about that. And there's not really been any surprises. Um, we just uh, measured, 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 and figured, and, and got it right. And um, so it's coming together, coming together slowly. Um, working in the evenings after work um, and Fridays and Saturdays um, to get it done. So about four or five days from now, maybe a little over, well, next Friday, about six days from now, we will be um, pouring concrete. So there you have it. If you want more updates, go to the ca thecastleproject.net, thecastleproject.net, and post me some comments. Uh, I'm just trying to share how we're doing this and how it's working for us. Take care.